Crafty Friends, this is Grace, and welcome to process video number 104, entitled Merry Christmas, or maybe Remember This Moment. I can't remember what I really actually entitled this to. But um, this is going to be a Christmas page, and it's using my August homemade kit. Um, the beauty about this that I wanted to share with you about this kit was there is no Christmas whatsoever, th Christmas theme whatsoever in this layout. But, um, or in this kit rather, but I wanted to show you that just by using some specific colors that you can achieve a themed layout without having to really go and spend a lot of money on themed products. Um, I have kind of realized over the years that I have way too many products that theme items is not really um, I don't want to say not necessary because there are times where you really need a themed product to really complement your story but for the most part you can just play with colors and you can achieve about the same amount of um, theme that you want on your page. So um, going back to the page I have five three by four photos and um, these are photos of one of the traditions that my kids and I do is to decorate a, a gingerbread house um, during Christmas and I wanted to of course capture that on this page and um, there are there's the close-ups of the this or the specific years creation but then it also has a little bit of an action shot by me and the kids putting together the the kit and I just uh, over the years I found that my favorite gingerbread house kit I don't make them from scratch I just buy the kit but my favorite one would be the Costco one because the house is already set all you have to do is take it out and then you know do the piping and put the candies because over the years I have found that if I'm I, I'm not very good at setting up the the house it just seems like it's always falling apart so that's what I love about the Costco one going back to the layout um, I wanted to use up all of my or some of the items in my kit and the stars uh, vellum worked really well here because it had that gold accent the gold stars and I felt like the gold really kind of resonate Christmas for me the sparkly type of stars and then I had this cut out Merry Christmas is actually a um, a negative space of a negative cut of a of the word, but I I like the scripty font of it, and then so I put that on the bottom, and then I also have these green leaves that I just cut out from cardstock, um, and so I added that to my page as well. Now, of course, I needed a few more Christmassy type on this page, and so I went through my scraps and I found this red paper I think it's a Teresa Collins one but it had um, the snowflake accents on red paper and so I decided to kind of incorporate that on my page so there's a little bit more Christmas theme in my page and I first I thought I'd put that behind the vellum but it just got really busy and you couldn't really see the snowflake accent because there was already stars on the vellum and I'm just going to cut um, two of them and then tuck them behind my photos just to give it a little bit of an accent. The beauty about multi-pick photos or pages is that you already have a lot of photos and so there's really no room for you to be plopping way too many embellishments. So if you're not an embellishment type of person, then this is, um, you know, doing multi-photo pages is the perfect way to go because you can still add some accents here and there but you don't overpower your photos with a bunch of accents now initially I wanted to use those gold photo corners on just the gray cardstock or Garrett sorry gray diagonal pattern paper that I used um, on the back of the or the foundation of this page but I've already adhered it and so I couldn't lift it up and so I decided to just use those gold photo corners and creating my smaller square which is a combination of papers and photos and I love I wanted to use the sorry about my hair right there sticking out 
I wanted to make sure that it's straight. I apologize for that. But um, I wanted to spread that gold because you can only see it onto, I mean, on the vellum. So I wanted to add or incorporate another gold in there just so that there's repetition on the page. And you can kind of tell that there is, um, you know, that all of the items that was put on the page was intentional. And I'm just making sure that I line up the bottom of that photo with this vellum piece on the bottom. And then that remember this moment 4x6 card is from the cut aparts from Echo Park. And then I'm just going to use that to house my, well, part of my title and also my journaling. And I've printed out my journaling. Um, Again, this, these photos are from 2011, so it's very fortunate that I, the old me, was able to document this memory when it was so fresh in my mind and I had put it on my, or saved it on my blog. And I'm really contemplating of making sure that I do more writing on my blog so I can preserve some of the memories in this my journaling is ready. Um, I, my video cut out so you weren't able to sh sh see um, all of the things that I've added but here are a bunch of close-ups and if you have any questions just leave it in the comment section below. Thank you my friends and I will talk to you soon. Bye guys!